Aghamazing! This is Serbas of Serbas TV. In our previous videos, we were able to describe motion using the concepts of distance and displacement, speed and velocity, and acceleration. In this two-part video tutorial series, we are going to describe and represent motion using visual representations like charts, diagrams, and graphs. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AgAmazing. Let's go! Motion is defined as the continuous change in position of an object with respect to a reference point for a particular time interval. Describing motion is not only limited to using words and equations. Visual representations like diagrams and graphs are also useful tools in describing the motion of an object. Let us first talk about diagrams. Diagrams are visual representations that use pictures or symbols to illustrate and explain an idea or information. In our previous videos, we used diagrams to represent the changing position of the dog and the speed of a runner. A common diagram that is used to represent motion is a ticker tape diagram which is sometimes called a dot diagram. A ticker tape diagram is produced using a ticker tape timer. A ticker tape is a long strip of paper that is passed through a printing device and is attached to a moving object. As the object moves, the tape is dragged through a ticker, leaving a trail or mark of dots. The trail of dots is a representation of the object's motion. The distance between the dots represents the speed of the object at a certain time interval. Let us analyze the following dot diagrams. What can you observe on the distances of dots on dot diagram A as compared to dot diagram B? Correct! The distance of dots on diagram A has larger distance as compared to the distance of dots on diagram B. But what does this mean? A large distance between the dots means the object was moving fast during a time interval. Therefore, the object in that diagram A is moving fast. On the contrary, a small distance between the dots indicates that the object moved slowly during the time interval. Hence, the object in that diagram B is moving slowly. Moreover, you can also observe that both the distance of dots on diagram A and diagram B are equal. This means that the objects in diagram A and diagram B are moving with constant speed or velocity. This also means that there is no acceleration on the movement of the two objects. Observe this dot diagram. What can you say about the object's velocity? Is it increasing or decreasing? Correct! The velocity of the object is increasing. But why is this so? It is because the distance between the dots is getting larger. Remember, a larger distance means faster speed or velocity. How about this dot diagram? What can you say about the motion of the object? Correct! The speed or velocity of the object is decreasing. This is because the distance between the dots is getting smaller. As we all know, a smaller distance means a slower speed or velocity. Let us have another look on the two dot diagrams. Are the two objects represented on the diagrams accelerating? Yes, they are accelerating since their speed is changing. We stated that their speed is changing because the distance between the dots is also changing. And that ends our discussion about describing motion using diagrams, specifically a ticker tape diagram or a dot diagram. Remember that the distance between the dots is a representation of the motion of the object. In our next video lesson, we are going to describe motion using motion graphs. 
See you on our next science lesson. Agha-mazing!